All right, and today we're going to be installing Duke Nukem 3D using DOSBox, and we're going to run the program as well. Now, I grew up in the uh, era of uh, Windows 98 or higher, so I didn't do a lot of, uh, of DOS work growing up. However, there's a lot of games that I've ran into that have required DOS, so I've, I've just kind of adopted a way to do it using DOSBox. Um, so here we go. To mount this game, you're going to need to know your drive letters. Uh, so for my DVD drive or CD-ROM drive, it's drive letter F. So we need to mount that. Mount. We're going to mount. Let's just mount F as F. Mount drive letter F. F colon slash. The drive F mounted local directory is F. So if we go to F colon, and then we go to DIR, which will show the directory. It shows every folder or file in the directory. It's going to show you uh, that we have something called install exe. What you're going to look for is the e executable. It'll be named setup or install or something like that. In this case, it is install.exe. Uh, but we also, before we go any further, we need to mount somewhere to install this game. So I have created a folder within my E drive uh, called Duke 3D. So we're going to mount E, uh, if I hit the right button, E colon as E colon slash. Uh, so now I have a drive E mounted as directory E. So E colon, uh, then we're going to do DIR here. And we can see the Duke 3D folder I have created right here. It's a DIR. I've just created it today. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install that to that. So we've got to go back to our drive. We're going to go to F for the CD drive. And we're going to DIR just to make sure we're in the right directory. And we're going to click install.exe. Just type it in. You don't need to capitalize with lowercase, and it's going to read the CD. All right. So we're going to select Duke Nukem 3D using our arrow keys. It says, I'm ready to install the game in the drive of your choice. Please enter the drive letter. Or press enter to accept my suggestion. So I need to hit drive letter E. Uh, Duke 3D is the folder I've created, but it's going to offer me to change it anyway. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as Duke 3D. So hit enter on there. And please wait while I install the program files. This may take a bit. Uh, even though it's a modern system, uh, DOSBox just runs at a, a standard CPU cycle for uh, to try to keep games that were designed to run on slower CPUs from going too fast. Uh, it's just the way they were programmed back in the day. And we'll come back when this is set up. Oh, it's ready. Never mind. All right, you can run the program by typing Duke 3D and pressing Enter. Press any key to continue. So we're going to press any key to continue. Uh, we do have to run this setup program. It should run automatically. If it does not, you can just run it. Um, now, set this game up initially. You're going to definitely want to change things like your screen setup. Normally, it's going to be at a really low resolution by 320 by 200. Uh, go to the Visa modes and just do 800 by 600. Any modern computer or monitor can, will be fine with that. Uh, sound setup, you do need to set up your sound card. It won't be on there automatically. Sound effects card, uh, whichever one you use. Most new systems will just work with Sound Blaster, so select that and just use the default settings. Don't change anything. Uh, you can do eight voices because new systems. You could probably even do 16-bit. Stereo. The, the bit rate's going to be high. A new system can handle most everything. Test the card to make sure it works. That was stupid loud, but it works. Uh, we got to choose a music card as well. As you notice up here, there is no, uh, there's not a music card, so you just need to select that. Choose music card, hit enter. Uh, Sound Blaster as well, and just leave it. And then we're going to test the music card. Yeah, there you go. Duke Nukem theme. All right. Uh, so now we just leave the volumes alone. I don't think that needs messed with. Uh, hit escape. Uh, now, this is pretty important to do your controller setup in here. Uh, it's not going to have mouse look by default. Uh, I believe U is the default key to enable it, but it's going to be inverted. So we need to fix that. Go to controller setup. Uh, I believe it's an advanced control, advanced mouse. And yes, okay, so you're going to want to go to your, uh, oh, let's do, I think it's Y axis. And you're going to need to make this negative one. And then that will actually invert your mouse to the proper up is up, down is down. Now, I wouldn't mess with any of the rest of this. Hit escape, hit escape again, escape again. Um, and if you wanted to play with a friend, you could do a network game or a modem game. And a serial is really not used. Uh, modems honestly aren't used anymore. It's for dialing up to a friend. Um, but you could do a network game if you wanted to with a buddy. I believe, I don't know if it's IPX or not. Is it IPX? 
it may be IPX, so it might not work on a newer system. Uh, but it might be TCP IP, who knows? Just Those are just uh, protocols that are used over the Internet. So, or 10 doesn't work anymore. That's been down for years. Uh, you can do a user level, all this stuff, set up file name. Uh, but we're basically just gonna, we're just gonna save and launch this. Actually, we're just gonna exit this, I believe. Save settings before exiting, yes. So, okay, when you originally uh, wanna start the game, if you start here at E slash Duke 3D uh, to run the game, you would just, I believe it's Duke 3D, but we're gonna look anyway, DIR, check your directory. Um, we're gonna see Duke, Duke 3D.exe is the executable. It's also commit. Uh, and, and a help file. Uh, what we're going to run is duke3d.exe. So duke3d.exe. And it'll do its thing, and the game is running. Alright, now after you've exited the game, say you've quit for the day, and then you exit DOSBox by typing exit. Uh, you're not going to see anything because I don't have that visible. So I'm going to start DOSBox up again, and then I'll pop back into the screen here. Okay, once you have DOSBox back and you're back at the screen, you'll notice your drives won't be mounted anymore. So if I go to E, it does not exist. So we got to remount these drives. Uh, e slash Duke 3D is where my game's installed. I know that. E colon. So and it, it, what we're going to do is we're going to mount the drive again for E colon. Uh, mount E, E colon slash. So now we can go into our E and directory and to get into that folder to like see what's in that folder say you wanted to see what was in duke 3d so you wanted to use the help file or change your configuration you would type in cd or change directory duke 3d and then you're into that folder dir's directory so then say we wanted to change uh oh, i don't know the setup for whatever reason type in setup and you don't even need to put exe at the end of it i don't believe no you do not it might work the same for batch files. So, okay, so we, we've done this, and this is where we get back into our setup, and then you would save and launch, or just hit escape, and yes, and then Duke 3D. Now, that, that's pretty much, that's simple. It's pretty much any game will install this way. Uh, and if you were to look in your hard drive, like if I look at my E drive, I will be able to see the folder that this game's installed in, see all the files for it. So if you wanted to, like, edit a configuration file in Windows uh, using, like, Notepad++, you'd be able to do that. Um, so... That's really all there is to this. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful to you. And if you'd like to see any tutorials for any other games on how to install them or mount them or anything like that, uh, just leave a comment down below, and we'll take care of it. Thanks for watching.